Follow up on Angola. <laughs> one, one question. It is so surprising um, that you don't so, take a, you are receiving sorry. an African leader and you can't take a question from an African okay. journalist. In case you couldn't hear that, that was Simon Atiba, the most ignored journalist in Washington, D.C., once again being ignored by Karine Jean Pierre. And he asked her, why can't you even take a question from an African journalist? And this gets even better. We can end I can't. Right Sorry, I, I have it's one really question. Really so Basically, um, John, Sinclair, Marco Rubio. It's not about edging the trip, and I won't ask an African question. Sorry. Because yeah. I'm receiving an African question. Sorry, can I just thank you? Thank you so much. Oh, my God. All right. We can end this briefing if it's not going to be respectful here. And just wait. She gets really rude with him and just stomps out like a crybaby, ending this briefing abruptly due to this. Now, you might need a little background before I get to that point to realize these two have been going at it for a while. She has not called on him in forever. And then they had a run-in recently at a coffee shop. If eyes could kill, I would be dead right now. At a restaurant minutes ago, White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre gave me a deadly look. As I was picking up a napkin, I realized she was standing on my left side. So I said hi. She looked at me full of anger and didn't respond. We can end this briefing if it's not going to be respectful here. Chris. That's what I'm saying. You're receiving okay. an African okay. leader and you don't take questions. Thanks, everybody. Oh, question about oh, thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody.